Hey, what's up everybody? It's Don and tonight, well, we're gonna check out another product that says that it will let us walk in virtual reality. And you guys know that's been a dream of mine, man. I'm, I'm trying to create the holodeck here. So last month we looked at the Agile VR, if you remember, that one also claimed to let us walk through virtual reality environments. And it, 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 quite frankly, it did. Uh, you know, it took a lot of tuning to get there and it was kind of bulky and, you know, but, but we got there, we, we actually walked through a game. So tonight we're going to be taking a look at the Waco VR, which, which also does the same thing, but it's shed the bulk and it's wireless to the PC where that one was wired. So I can't wait to jump in and take a look at this. Uh, I, I want to thank Tugra from Walco VR for sending this my way. This is really cool. I, I'm not going to do a traditional unboxing, but uh, you know, I'll kind of show you what's in the box here. Um, and oh, one of them is actually on already. So let's turn that back off and you know, one of the cool things is is this. It says, um, our beloved backer, uh, since Oculus Rift's Kickstarter launch, virtual reality has become a game changer, not only for the gaming industry, but also for many other industries. However, it still needs to be improved day by day with new complementary tech and new content. Man, I cannot stress that enough. That is awesome. Uh, we believe the human body's movement has vital role in enhancing the immersive experience we seek in virtual reality. With, the purpose, with that purpose in mind, we wanted to create a simple-to-use multifunctional locomotion solution, which may also serve several other functionalities in the future. Whew, say that three times really fast. Um, as gamers ourselves, we wanted to develop a device that would be easy to use every day, and we called that device Walk OVR. Uh, it was that dream first, and you helped us make this a reality. Without your support, we couldn't have made Walk OVR available because that, that this was born of a Kickstarter, and it was another successful VR Kickstarter, and, and, and I applaud them for that. They actually got their product to market. Um, today, Walko VR shipped to you as a locomotion solution. However, we will continue developing to serve you in many other features as well as accessories to improve your VR experience even further. We are aware that this is just the beginning of our journey and manufacturing or shipping your product is just the first phase. With your feedback, we'll keep working to make it better for you every day. We sincerely hope you'll love Walko VR. Best regards, Tugra. So, you know, I gotta say, that was a very nice personal touch to have in the box. And, you know, I, I read the whole thing, but I, you know, you guys need to see that. So, and you can see, I mean, the the, the box here, it's, it's nice, it's retail. I love the look of all the little pucks, uh, and especially when you're wearing them, they're all like blinking red and blue lights all over the place. It looks like a sci-fi nerd dream. So, uh, I'm going to get it all strapped up and then we're going to jump into maybe a little more Half-Life Alex to test it out and uh, then I'll uh, come back with my final thoughts. So let's go. All right, here I am back in Half-Life Alex, and uh, this time I'm in the Walko VR, man. This is like, I got some sci-fi legs now, all blinky and stuff, and here I go. I'm walking, you know, and that's what it advertises, folks. It says that you can walk in VR, and I'm telling you, this thing, once I got it tuned, it is actually amazing how well it is tracking my legs. Now, this is the, the second device that I've, that I've reviewed in this series on alternative locomotion in VR. And, you know, I, I, I'm not to knock the Agile VR. They are going to Kickstarter. They're gonna, they're gonna be retooling the, uh, the uh, Agile VR exoskeleton thing that I reviewed. And, and, you know, I liked it, but it was kind of bulky. It was kind of hard to put on and take off. And, this, this, this is very lightweight. It just has little straps that you go around your ankles, your knees, and your waist. I'm not showing you my waist strap here because, well, you know, I got, got a few pounds I need to lose. But uh, it, it almost kind of feels like I'm wearing nothing here. And, and when it syncs with the Bluetooth and you've got a good connection and you tuned it right, as you can see, I mean, it is really precise. Uh, and 
it, it actually is keeping up almost one to one with my walking speed. Now, unfortunately, there is no run in Half Life, uh, Alex. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, that gave me jelly legs. Uh, there, there is no run in Half-Life Alex, so I can't test the ability for it to run, but it does have an analog walking feature. It, it has a crouch feature. It has a jump feature. I, I you know, it, it's definitely getting there on the software side. Oh, I don't need that yet. I do need to switch to a weapon. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ah! God, that scared me. Tell you what, there is quite a bit of uh, jump scare horror in Half-Life here. Get out of him. Oh, great. Oh, great. Run away. Run away. Ah! Run away. <laughs> okay, so I gotta say, this definitely adds to the immersion. Um, I, I mean, okay, it, yes, the running part right now does not feel one-to-one -one because, like I said, there is no run in Half-Life. But <laughs> that was kind of fun, I gotta say. I was actually, like, scared and running away. So, very cool. Oh. Ah! Oh my god! It's terrifying. Now, you can see sometimes I am still pressing the stick, and, and that's because this actually allows for both methods of locomotion. Oh, she's... Wait, oh, run away. Run away. Run away. No! Don't run up on the rock! Ah! <laughs> Alright, so I gotta say, I had a lot of fun in, in Half-Life Alex there, as you can plainly see. And, and I gotta say, part of that was due to the Walko VR, guys. It, it actually does what it says that it's supposed to do. It, it, it does let you walk and strafe in virtual reality. Now, is it perfect? Is it one-to-one? -one? No. It, there was still little glitches here and there, but I will say it was the closest to walking presence that I've gotten yet, if that makes any sense. Like, like in the beginning of the video, when I'm walking up those stairs, it, it started matching my footsteps one-to-one -one and it felt amazing. And, and I literally almost felt like I was having the sensation of elevation as I went upstairs. So I, I gotta give it a pass. I, I think this is actually pretty cool and, and I think it has a lot of future because they are continuing to support it. It just got a software update yesterday that allowed me to just plug and play Half-Life Alex there. And I tweaked it a little bit to my personal settings and boom, I'm in there, I'm walking through the game. Um, the fitness aspect also, let me, let me talk about that for a second. So you guys know I lost like 50 something pounds last year doing that fitness series here on the channel. And obviously you can see now that you see me in full body, I've gained most of it back. Well, I need to get back on the VR fitness and maybe I'm going to do it in front of the world again. I don't know. That, that really helped to push me. So you guys let me know down in the description, or the, I'm sorry, down in the comments whether you think that's a good idea or not. Um, but the fitness aspect, man, I tell you what, it got my heart racing as well. So, you know, finally I, I can jog through Skyrim. I can, you know, just pick out, I think it goes on Google Earth too. I think this works with Google Earth. I'm going to find out. Uh, and if it does, yeah, I, you'll pick my old neighborhood and just jog through it in Google Earth. So very cool there as well. So plus one to them for the fitness aspect. And we will explore more of that here on the channel soon because my fat butt got to lose some weight. But for me, 
That's going to do it tonight, guys. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video if you made it this far, and I hope you did. Uh, you guys know that means the world to me. And if this was your first time coming by the channel, man, I can't thank you enough for coming by to check out what I do here at VR Gamer Dude. So, you know, if you liked what you saw here, head over to my main catalog. Take a look through my videos. I've got stuff all the way back to the beginning of the second coming of VR. And obviously, if you liked all that, smash subscribe man ring the bell come along with me the next time i do something cool in vr and if you're already a subscriber here at the channel guys i can't thank you enough it is growing again obviously i'm out of work because the coronavirus got my job so you know uh, just uh, thank you thank you for what you do help me share it help me spread the word i i'd love to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year so, all right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. This is Don signing off.